Rolling. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so this is my smallpox memorial site analysis. Maybe, I'm sorry to interrupt. Can you click, can you click on the, uh, I guess, present button, which is, it looks like a plate? Uh, can you see it now? Yeah, we can see it. It's just um, it, we want to see it in presentation mode. Uh, I think it's the middle button on the top. Oh no, you had it. Yeah, I did. Is not on presentation mode? Yeah, no, so you are on presentation mode showcasing your, your, I guess, your screen. Now, when you click on your Google Slides, click on presentation mode so you can see the full screen, the full screen. Right now, I can only I see. So when I click on the, you see the top, the top bar? Right where it says do you know undo redo this the one next to redo just click on that one in the middle. Okay. There you go. This I, I guess you just have to wait. There you go. And then maybe flip your phone so I'm not asking for too much. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Okay, so this is my small pox memorial site analysis. Um, the location of the uh, um, hospital is in Roswell Island. As you can see, the site is in ruins and has moss and greenery growing at its side. Here's some photos. The Smallpox Memorial Hospital is near beautiful private university called Cornell Tech. There's a Dwayne Reed and a Starbucks about 11 minutes away for visitors to buy anything they may need or buy a quick bite. The South Point Park is also located right in front of the hospital so families can enjoy. There are also lots of restaurants and cafes so people can go there after visiting the island. You can get to the island by taking the L and the F train if you want to take public transportation and get off the Roosevelt Island train station. If you prefer to drive to the island, you can take the Roosevelt Island Bridge. Its entrance, its entrance is at Renan Boulevard, Boulevard and Main Street in Astoria. From Manhattan, take the Roosevelt Island Tramway from East 59th Street and 2nd Avenue. New York Ferry has a landing on Roosevelt Island, which connects to Astoria, Long Island City, East 34th Street, and Wall Street on the Astoria Line. The ferry is located on East Main Street, east of Tram Plaza. The climate system, Smallpox Memorial Hospital is located in New York. The climate is constantly changing since the site is near the water, the weather. The weather, the, the weather will impact the site, so when remodeling the site, we will need to keep those factors in mind. These are some main attractions located on the island and how far is located from the small parts from where hospital. This is the distance of the Smallpox Memorial Hospital. Um, I included how much the building takes up, how many acres it takes up, which is 0 0.9. I also um, added up how you could get to the hospital, whether it's through bike, through car, through the bus they provide. So, like, you know, you guys need any like traveling assistance when getting there if you guys are taking public chance you know you know how to get there next slide please 
We also put some of the zoning from the hospital. Um, we added what, how many stories the hospital is, how many acres, what's there, and also our plan for the free space that's there. We would like to incorporate a children's museum and we would like to inform the new generations about the history behind the architecture and the pandemic that went on. Next slide, yes. So, um, sorry for the bottom. I was I was supposed to delete that part, but the area we was just showing, like where's the free space, so you guys could see. But we'll add more images to show you more of the property. See, there's some sources where we got everything. So, um, okay. Sorry. So okay. when I was speaking about our idea of the museum, we also got inspired by another children's museum that teaches kids about germs and whatnot. So it really gave me some inspiration. And also it's a COVID-friendly museum, um, and it's called Sea Mom is short for Children's Museum of Manhattan. It's a Manhattan museum that's very affordable and kids are allowed to go and still be informed while being safe. So we'll like to add like a 1840s styled um, hospital room in our museum so kids could like, you know, play and see how the hospital room would have looked in 1840s and get other people's perspective on it. These are some hazards for the smallpox hospital. The hospital is very old and it's crumbling on the side of the building. So when we are rebuilding the site, you have to keep those factors in mind as well. Okay, that's the end of our presentation. Thank you. All right. Uh, so for the work learn grow, thank you, by the way, Haley and Yamile. Um, Haley, if you don't mind just getting the presentation up just for the purposes of discussion and for the work learn grow students, um, you know, if there's anything that you would like to say about the presentation, uh, something that you enjoyed, whether you have a question or, you know, whether you have any suggestions or things to improve on. All right. Who would like to volunteer for peer feedback? Right. And maybe this time we want to focus on the information that's presented to us um, or whether, you know, there's an area for improvement in one of the slides. All right, so let's begin with uh, Gilbert. Good mind, Gilbert. Uh, yeah, I don't mind. Um, I felt like their presentation was well crafted. I felt like it was uh, appealing to the eye. I do think that they should minimize the information that is written down as much, having speaking uh, speaking about it more. Um, knowing the information, it feels like uh, you're really passionate about what you're saying when you're when you have the information already in your head. So I think that when you speak about it rather than like read off of the slide, that's much better. Thank right. you. And Haley and Danny Lynn, please make sure that you take notes of some of the feedback that we're giving you. So like that, um, you know, you address it and you improve for the next one. All right, so who else would like to comment? Uh, 
How about Haley? Uh, yeah, I do. I did like their presentation. I like um, how they spoke about it. But also, I think if you just minimize like the paragraphs, because you know you look at the slides and it's a lot of paragraphs. And also, um, I one another suggestion. I think it would be nice to see like a slide from slides go rather than like the regular Google slides. I think it'll be a little bit more appealing toward the eye. I think you really. All right, um, what about Justin Hunter? Uh, yeah, no, uh, Gilbert already kind of said what I was going to mention, which would be the, the paragraphs, oh, and Haley as well. It's just, I guess that's the most not glaring issues, not like an issue, it's just more of the what you notice the most, because like, even if you look into like little slide uh, icons, you'll see like it's just a wall of text. But at the end of the day, it does uh, describe everything perfectly. You know, there's no missing stuff. You mean there's no missing in the present, like missing information? There's nothing missing in the presentation in terms of like content, you know what I mean? Okay, what makes you say that, Justin? I know that this probably, it's not a trick question, but I'm just curious. Well, at least for, for me, when it comes mm -hmm. to like okay. describing what they tend to do for the smallpox hospital, I'm not entirely uh, fully aware of everything involving the hospital, but based on their presentation, I have a good idea of what the task is. Gotcha. All right, anyone else that would, would like to uh, contribute with some peer feedback to this presentation? Uh, yeah, uh, so as like everyone said, like you have like a lot of words on your slides. Uh, you could possibly use, um, because uh, on Google Slides, there's like a feature called Speaker's Notes. You can probably leave it like, um, just leave everything you want to say on there and just read it off of there. All right. Um, thank you. Lee. So, Haley, let's go to your circulation slide. We're not done yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right here. Right. So, your circulation slide. This is a very. This is an important um, slide, right? Because it. Pretty, it's pretty much telling us how do people get to or move around the site. Of the mm -hmm. Okay? And all of this could be represented visually. It doesn't have to be in words, and especially not in a paragraph. All right? Yeah. So it was right we'll, we'll have a conversation about this more in depth um, and, and, you know, helping you with this particular slide. All right? Okay. Um, so the destination, when you mentioned destinations, like the famous destinations around the smallpox memorial hospital, you know, tell us a little bit about, you know, give us some um, a little explanation of what they are, what is, you know, what is it there for, um, and why are they important destination spots for, for that um, area, okay? And also how does that complement or relate to the smallpox memorial hospital? Okay. Okay. Um, a comment specifically for Yamile. Yamile, you know, when you are presenting, you are presenting the information that you have on your slide. You're not telling us what you actually work on. All right. I know that I know that we do two types of presentation. One is an update, a progress update of what you worked on, and those we do informally at the end of each, set, each session. But when we're doing a presentation, you want to only focus on the content that you that you're presenting to us. You understand what I mean by that? Okay. All right. So when it comes to your sources, uh, sources is something you want to leave in your last slide. Okay. 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 And uh -huh. just to, you know, just to make it simple, there are 
there are citation uh, methods, but we're not going to focus on that right now. But if you want to make note of this, let's stick to the title, the title, the year, and then the link. Just give us the link of where you got your information from to start off with. And then later on, towards the end of the project, we can, um, you know, create a reference sheet. All right? Okay. Just make sure you provide links, not, um, you know, you can have the title, you can have the year, but it's more important to have the links in there for now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the last well, another comment that I need you to you two to work on is your architectural precedent study or the examples um, that relate to the design proposal that you want to do. So you want to do a shot a children's museum for a small mm -hmm. park in Memorial Hospital, right? Yes. And I think that is an interesting program for that. I think it it could have potential. It could be a place to teach kids about you know um, viral, you know infectious diseases. Right, um, and also it could be it could serve as a place for parents to drop off their kids and then they go out for a walk and then come back and pick them up or something like that. I don't know. You can think about those types of um, different things, but you know, you mentioned only one project, which is um, if you go to your museum, children's museum example that you showed us. All right, so that one. So first of all, again for this slide, you want bulleted items. Right, we don't. The audience is not going to have time to read all of that information, all right? And when you're talking about the Children's Museum of Manhattan, um, also show us more images of that museum. We don't know how it looks like. We don't know how it functions. We don't know how it's going to help your project. So give us more more visual information when it comes to that. Okay. All right. We girls have a lot to work on. I'll leave it at that. Anyone else, Mr. Kessner, Mr. Uh, Codio. Yes, um, I'm perfect. That's a perfect slide right there. As soon as hey, um, Haley, and once again, good job. That's a great start. You know, you guys came a long way from just one slide. Now you have kind of stuff that we could actually talk about and help you with, guide you from beginning to end. Because we understand that this is a process. And I want you guys, and I actually, you girls, because two females, know that it's a process and. You came a long way. For this slide, when you said this, the, the first thing I did was I typed on the museum and I was able to see the facility, images of the facility. You, um, Yamala, you hearing me? Yes, I am listening. Yeah, because we had already said that less words is more. I don't need to repeat myself. I'm just gonna present my screen real quick and just very quickly. Just to show you what I, I, I've gathered, all the possible information of the area. And there was an area that it will give me like the site on the actual website with the layout, how everything is laid out. So you've probably seen it. I'm not assuming you have not, but quickly, this is beautiful. You could have just taken some image right here. This is my concept. These are some of the ideas. And then you can list what specific areas that you want to incorporate within the smallpox. And... One thing I like that you said, you want to give it that old look, that historical look, but incorporate, you know, some of the activities or the program of this facility. So please, I'm going to say this again. Everybody said this. So next time we see your presentation, you can hear me, Yamalat, Haley? Yeah. I want to make sure in your president study, you show the different um, talk about. This is my inspiration. I, I know this is just one, but you guys should just focus on this for now because that's the one you put on your slide and show the people interacting and to convince us that this is the type of space that you want as well. Um, other than that, um, it's a good start, but one of the key things is you're trying to push people to donate money, to, to spend money to invest in this building in terms of Give it a new purpose. Okay? Yeah. All right. Thank you for all the feedback, guys. We really will take it into consideration and we'll really add it. So next time when you guys see our presentation, there will definitely be updates and adjustments. Perfect, Yamile. I look forward to that. And we'll... we'll meet up tomorrow once once we're done with presentations we'll we'll check in with each team and go over the slides and all the work. 
That's good. Um, Haley Persuela is offering her assistance. That's awesome. Thank you, Haley. You guys, just because you're on different teams doesn't mean you're on the same project, so you can share information. I know Mr. Codio, Mr. Rodriguez has mentioned that before. Um, reach out to one another, okay? Thank you. Thank you for that.